Hi, I'm Emily, and today I'm going to talk about gene therapy. Thanks to the Human Genome Project, we now have a complete map of human DNA, and it's over 25,000 genes. Genes are segments of DNA that code for proteins and are responsible for our physical traits. All of this DNA is tightly wound up and packaged into 46 chromosomes within our cells. So what is gene therapy? Gene therapy is the introduction of a healthy gene into the DNA of a cell to replace or alter a mutated gene. This could mean replacing a non-functional gene with a functional gene, or it could mean introducing a gene to stop a defective gene or rogue protein from being harmful. So how can we use gene therapy? This is my little brother, Ben. Ben has CAH, which stands for congenital adrenal hyperplasia. CAH is a genetic disorder that results from a single missing protein. That protein is needed to make certain hormones, and without those hormones, Ben has to take medications several times a day, every day, or he would die. These are Ben's 46 chromosomes. Geneticists have found that Ben has mutated genes on both copies of chromosome number 6. So how can we use gene therapy to help Ben? The first step is to isolate a healthy working copy of the damaged gene Ben needs. But then how do we get this new DNA to Ben's cells? As it turns out, Mother Nature has actually solved this problem for us. Naturally occurring viruses infect cells by incorporating their viral genes into the cell's nuclei. In the lab, it's possible to replace the harmful viral genetic material with our isolated therapeutic gene. Then, the virus can be used as a delivery system to get our gene into the cell's nuclei. In some cases, it's even possible to incorporate the gene into the strands of the host cell's DNA, meaning a long-term cure is possible because the new gene would be copied to future cells during cell replication. After the viral vector is made, it's ready to be given to Ben. It can be given directly into his bloodstream and tissues, or it can be given to his cells in the lab, and then the treated cells can be put back into Ben. Once Ben's cells have the new gene, his body makes the missing proteins, and then his body makes the missing hormones. No more CAH! Research like this is actually happening. There are over 2,800 identified genetic conditions that gene therapy could potentially cure. Diseases such as CAH, cystic fibrosis, and hemophilia are all caused by a single genetic defect, while others, such as heart disease, diabetes, and cancer, are more complex. They involve multiple genes and even environmental factors. More research is needed, but gene therapy could revolutionize the treatments for these diseases, and we could help all the bins of the world. Thanks for listening.